Okay, really short video this one. Uh, this is to sort out the noise issue with the Behringer Pro 1. Um, when I say noise issue, I don't mean it's got too much noise, I mean it's not got enough noise. So the noise control, the white noise control here, when the other oscillator's on you can't really hear it, it's undetectable, so if I put the filter in the middle... It's there, but you can't really hear it. So, as you can hear, the oscillators are a, a lot louder than the noise. So we're going to fix that. That's a really, really easy fix. And all you need is two screwdrivers. One to get in there, and it's a, it's a Phillips PH1. And use a Phillips not a posi drive because you'll mash your heads of the screws up because they're Phillips screws, not posi. Posi's got the little eight, the little extra four bits in between the things there. So um, all you need to do is take your screws out. Now that doesn't void your warranty because these are designed to come out of the panel anyway and be used in Eurorack. Uh, one thing to watch for when you open up your, your system is these nuts here. Um, most Eurorack systems use a rail because these things they can slide about all over the place and and you have to really line them up and stuff. So that's the only thing to watch. So if, if you do knock them as you're opening it you just have to sit next to it, line them up when you screw it back together. That's it. That's the only thing you have to worry about. So the noise. Um, so what we need to do is turn the noise up inside that's the noise at the moment. Now, do not touch any of this here unless you know what you're doing and you've got a problem. This, this, just stay away from that. That is scaling offsets and all sorts of stuff for your oscillators. You do that, you won't have a your synth will sound terrible when you start playing it and stuff. So just stay well away from that. This is the one you're looking for is the noise level. So all you need to do is get the smallest screwdriver, the ones that fix glasses. You know you can get those little sets. Um, you can buy really, really cheap ones, you can buy expensive ones, it really doesn't matter what sort of screwdriver you buy, as long as it's a small one. The smallest one you can buy, and you put it in here, and put it all the way up to the max. And the reason why you don't want it sort of halfway is because it's variable on the front anyway. And actually, it's a good balance of noise and oscillations. And because it's variable, you can just switch it right off anyway, so it's it's fine. So there you go. That's so if you're into making snare drums, synth toms, and all that, you're going to need the noise. Uh, the original Pro One, original sequential circuits had noise of a much higher level. Your unit might be fine. It just happens to be this one that seems to be really quiet on the noise circuit. And noise is always a good thing to sort of have a good gain on anyway because you know if you're making snare drums you want that real sort of nice snap and stuff so if that's what you're using your synth for anyway so but here you go so that's it simple as that if you want to support the channel um, you can go to my website lecproductions.co.uk have a listen to some music download something you like and that will really support me and really help me in the future for doing more videos because I will be doing, I'm relaunching a channel and uh, I'll be needing to buy a lot of uh, hardware, a lot of camera stuff. Um, I've already started, I'm, I'm relaunching a channel at the moment. Um, I'm going to be doing a studio tour and stuff like that in the future so um, be, be ready for that. But this is just a really quick video just to sort, sort out the the noise thing with the Behringer Pro 1. It's its so simple to do as well. You don't have to be an electronics expert or anything like that. All you need is a small screwdriver and a Phillips. And that's it. Job done. Thanks for watching. <coughs>